Well, I had a little project I had to do yesterday. I was installing a Seiko style extractor into a Remington bolt face. So, long story short, broke a little bit of tooling that I had and even though I normally will cut that stuff with carbide end mills, I didn't have anything that would was appropriate for it after I broke my last one and I thought that I would uh, I had to drag out the corn tool and cutter grinder and we just resharpened and reshaped a high-speed steel end mill and managed to finish up that job but while I had it out while well, I was going to grind up a couple or sharpen up a couple other ones that were pretty dull and um, I thought I might take you along for a little bit. Now this is a one inch end mill and I still have problems with this tool. It just doesn't do a good job of grinding peripheries with this setup. So eventually we'll build an air bearing for this or an air bearing for the larger grown up corn that we're slowly working on. But uh, I can sharpen up the ends and get a good cut out of it. Now you can't really side mill on these but it will give you a pretty good finish once you sharpen them up just on the faces of them. So I thought I'd take you along and hopefully this will use halfway decent for you and what I've done is I've already set wheel head height and I've already indexed up my four flutes on this mill now optimally we probably should be running about oh eight to ten degrees is kind of what's recommended for this style of cutter is where I set it in the past um, I've narrowed that down we've cut it down to about a three degree angle on it and <coughs> What I've done is I've already gone ahead and marked my index head so I can quickly index it up to each one. And we're just going to lightly clean up those. Then we'll go ahead, we'll tilt it down and um, set the relief on it. Normally when you drop them down, set the relief. It's been my experience. I want to rotate it up usually about another 20 degrees and that gets the, the full clearance without interfering with the, the previous flute. So we'll set it up and start it running and see what we've got. So elevations and everything are all right now I'm not getting super precision with this which I don't get super precision with a lot of my stuff but we're awful close to where we want to be and we're gonna just get our head in here close and that's about the extent of where we need to go on our tilting bracket for it so I think we can lock it in right here unlock this and start a run with the one inch bore we can't drag it back out of there so let's uh, sorry about for my head being here let's go ahead and change our angle just a little bit now we've lost our let's rotate our head about just a degree or two here I still think we want to rotate up another couple of degrees here.
Okay, I like that pretty good. We'll just rotate that through each of those four flutes, the last two flutes, and um, then we'll decide if we need to cut the relief on it or not. There, our flute should all be in the same plane. And there's what we look like when we're sharpened up there. And for the little home hobby shop, that will work just fine. Um, I could set those up and cut the relief, but I don't think I'm going to on those. I think that's still looking pretty good. So we'll call that one good. That one can go back in until we get a uh, air bearing built for it. Why that's as sharp as we're going to get it. We're not going to mess with the side flutes. I know better than that. So that uh, at least gets us in the ballpark there.
Okay, that's where we're going to take it to, is about there. I think that's about right. We've gone 15 degrees beyond where our setting was for uh, for our relief. When we just cut our initial edge, we were 15 degrees rotated counterclockwise. We rotated 15 degrees. That gets us a little deeper into our gullet, yet still misses our teeth. This is a pretty ugly grind on here, but we've got good cutting edges out here, and I'm going to leave it the way it is for right now. Uh, the main problem with part of this is it was poorly ground before. So I'm going to take it over and we'll just take a uh, cutoff wheel in the Dremel or in the Fordham tool, and we'll just slot across where it's been relieved before. That'll give it more of a center cutting action. We've got good cutting edges on there. The reliefs are off, but like I say, it's from a bad grind before. So um, next time we sharpen it, why that should take care of any issues with it. And, uh, you know, we've got a little bit better usable cutter again other than just throwing it away. So once you figure out the corn, it's a great little tool. Um, there's definitely a learning curve with it. And like I say, this would have been one that I probably sharpened who knows how long ago or attempted to sharpen. And... Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the primary grinds on this, with our, with our main cutting edges. You know, I've got a good sharp edge on each of those, and we've got a good clean cut all the way along. The, uh, the relief cuts are uneven and that type of thing, but that should clean up pretty well on the next grind. So, anyway, just a little bit of corn running. Hopefully you find it a little bit interesting. Uh, comments or suggestions, leave them in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch, guys.